Hi, my name is Matt Hawkins. Um, I'm currently a student at Remington College in the CNA program. Today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Linux operating system um, using the VirtualBox Oracle VM program. Um, right here I'm just deleting an old one. Uh, we are going to create a new virtual PC. Click Next. Um, you're just going to name it. Um, in this case, I'm going to name mine Ubuntu Install. Um, just make sure that the operating system is on Linux and the version is on Ubuntu. Um, this is where you're going to select the memory size and what you're going to dedicate to uh, the virtual PC. In this case, I'm putting one gigabyte. Um, you're going to create new hard disk. Just go to next. Dynamically expanding storage, you want that, um, and 8 gigabytes of virtual disk size. Uh, the dynamically expanding storage means that you are dedicating um, a certain amount to the operating system, but as you, as you continue using it, um, it will create more space as needed. Um, you can select a specific size if you just want to limit yourself. Uh, here we are selecting the ISO, um, which you downloaded. Um, I will be leaving uh, links in the description of this video. Uh, so you can go right to the Ubuntu website and download it. Um, a lot of times um, I would fast forward through this video just because uh, waiting time would more than double the length of this video. Okay, once it comes up, you're going to choose Install Ubuntu. Um, now, you can use Try Ubuntu. Um, in this case, we're going to just go ahead and install it. Um, here, you're going to choose Download Updates While Installing and Install Third Party Software. That way, you get all the drivers that you need for MP3, uh, Flash, and other media. Uh, once you select those, just hit Forward. Okay, um, now you want to allocate the drive space. You want to go ahead and use the entire disk because um, we created 8 gigabytes just for this. Um, and this is just going to make sure um, that you've chosen the right one. And when you're ready, you go ahead and hit, hit install now. Okay, here you're going to choose where you are. That way it knows what time zone to set your uh, OS under. Um, in this case, I'm choosing central. Uh, and then hit forward. Next is going to be your keyboard layout configuration. It's going to ask you uh, um, the type that you're in. I'm, in. I'm under USA for English. Um, and then you're going to have a bar where you can test it out. Um, just type a few things to see if make sure that it's working right. Uh, once you're ready, hit forward. And here you're going to create your username, your computer's name, and you're going to pick a password. Once you do that, just hit forward. Now this is the loading screen. Um, this is while it's copying files, um, putting it all on um, your hard disk space. Uh, it's pretty neat because while you are waiting, um, it does give you a nice little slideshow, uh, basically pointing out key features of the Ubuntu operating system. Um, I suggest looking at them uh, just to see, just so you know what you're uh, you're getting. Um, and what to expect. <clears throat> also here is their website which highlights even more of their key features and um, user comments. Which I also provided in the uh, link under the description. Um, this is where I was speeding everything up. Okay, once it gets to this point, it's going to ask you to restart. So you want to go ahead and hit restart now. Yet again, I've sped everything up. Okay, once it gets to this point, um, as it's loading up, it's going to go through a couple things, and then it's going to ask you to uh, eject the CD. Um, if you were using a CD um, after 
uh, copying the ISO onto one, you would just take it out and then hit enter. In this case, we didn't use one, we just used the ISO file, so you just hit enter, and VirtualBox will start up the operating system for the first time. Okay, now once you get to this screen, this is going to ask you for the password you created before uh, installing the OS. Um, so for those um, Windows users, that's basically the user profile sign-in. Alright, um, so now we're just waiting for the desktop to come up. Um, thanks for watching this video of how to install Ubuntu using the VirtualBox program. Um, this is my first time using Linux of any type, um, so I will probably be making another video um, going through the desktop and some of its key features and functions. Um, thanks again for watching and look forward to my next video.